Hi, I'm here at the Montford Press Studio surrounded by all this wonderful letterpress equipment. And today I'm working on a document the more manual way. I have my composing stick here and I'm going to finish my line of type by adding a letter D and a letter E. And then I'll come back here and I'll get some space to fill out the end of my line. Now I want to add the space that goes between the lines. Now I have a, a piece of leading. Get it? Line spacing? Leading. This is why they call it leading. Because it's lead. Uh, this is a skinny one. I could add get more space by adding more of these. Or I can add a nice fat six-point slug. The more space I add, the more space I'll have between my lines. Word 2007 automatically adds extra space every time you press enter. That's fine if you're typing a paper, but if you're typing a poem or an address, you might not want that extra space. I'm Joni Stanglin, and today I want to show you a few suggestions on how you can go from this line spacing to this line spacing. Let's take a look. Here I have my Word document, and as you can see, it has a lot of space in it. It's even going on to the second page. This is not what I want. So first I'm going to come up here and click Show Hide so I can see what's going on. And I have all these paragraph marks, and there's a lot of space between each one. Now I can fix it one way by clicking Select and Select All, and then by coming here to Line Spacing and changing where it says 1.15 to 1.0, that did not do a whole lot. So now I'll come here and I'll click the Page Layout tab and where it says After 10 points, I'll change that to 0. That's more like it, but that's a lot of work. I don't want to do that for every poem I have. So there's another way to get the line spacing you want by treating the lines as lines instead of as little individual paragraphs. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'll come into another file, and let's see here. I'm going to finish this line, and now instead of pressing Enter, here, I'm going to turn on Show Hide so you can see what's going on. That's helpful. Instead of pressing Enter to get a paragraph mark, I'm going to hold down the Shift key and press Enter. That gives me this line break character here, and now I'll type in the second line. And because this poem is in couplets, this is the end of the stanza, so I'll just press Enter. But when I have the whole poem, it's still not quite what I was thinking. See, I've, I've got the right spacing here, but here it's, it's all too scrunched up. So what I will do now is I will select this, and I will come up here and I will change the paragraph, go back to that page layout, and I will add 12 in here, because I think that's what I want, so I have a full line. And now that is looking more like a poem, don't you think? The other advantage of this is, say I'm down here and I know that I'm going to add about 15 more stanzas, and I don't want this to automatically break across a page when Word's automatically putting in page breaks, I can select this paragraph, I'll click the Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher. I'm going to click the Line and Page Breaks tab. And see here, I've got this, Keep Lines Together. That will make sure that Word doesn't insert an automatic page break in the middle of my stanza. So now that's one option. The other thing is that a lot of times, I've mentioned in the past, I do my writing in OneNote. So here I have a poem in OneNote. I can use the Line Break character in OneNote but I can't see what I'm doing. So if I'm revising and moving things around, who knows what I'll end up with. Right now I'm going to type in the last two lines of my poem. And here you can't see me doing it, but I'm holding down Shift, I'm pressing Enter. That's a line break character there. Now how do I find out what I've got? I can put it into Word. So I'll select it and I'll copy. I'll open up a brand new document and I will paste it in here. You can see I've kind of got a mix match here and that's not what I want either. 
Now, just for the sake of example, I'll add some stanza breaks in here. I think that will help this poem. But now I want to get things evened out a little bit. So I'm going to start by selecting the poem and I'm going to click replace. And what I really want to search for is I want to change all my paragraph marks to line breaks. So I'm going to click special and click paragraph mark here. I'll come down to the replace box and I'm going to click special again and you can't see me clicking this and I'm sorry but I'm clicking manual line break and it gives me a caret L. So I'm going to replace all. I don't want to finish the rest of my document because that'll just mess up my header so I'll click no. Now this is okay except I want these to be stanza endings so I want those to be paragraph marks. So I'm going to come back here and this time I'll type in caret L caret L for a double line feed and I'll replace it with Let's see, caret P for a paragraph mark. And I'll click replace all. And again, I want to click no because I don't want to mess up my header. And there, now I have a poem. It looks like a poem and it's ready to send out. Whichever way you choose to work, take the space you need and keep writing.